Hello, uh, my name is Kazuma Furuhashi. Uh, my, na my internet name is 1284 kilometer. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, uh, today my title is Charity. Charity visualizes real world data with Ruby. So, I came to Thailand for the first time. I wanted to see the Chao Phraya River. I was able to achieve it yesterday. So I'm so glad. Thank you for holding the Ruby of Thailand. About me, I'm a programmer. I came from Japan, Tokyo. I made Ruby 2.6 standard CSV library 1.5 to 3 times faster. A creator of a uh, a visualization library named Charity. Today, I, I will talk about it. And I'm a member of Asakusa RB. Do you know Asakusa RB? Uh, here is Asakusa. This is uh, Kaminari Mon. Kaminari Mon is uh, Thunder Gate. Thunder Gate. So if you ever come to Japan, come to Asakusa RB. By the way, what language do you use? Ruby, Java, Python, JavaScript, English, Thai, Japanese, or many other languages? I often write Ruby, but speaking language is not Ruby. I recently learned some inter interesting things uh, common to English, Thai, and Japanese. I think these are uh, similar pronunciation. Shopping. In Thai, shopping. <laughs> is, is it right, uh, my pronoun? <laughs> uh, Jap in Japanese, shopping. Online. In Thai, or online. Uh, in Japanese, online. Donut. <laughs> in Thai, donut. Donut. Uh, in Japanese, donuts. Are these similar? Uh, this is emoji of tea. Uh, in Japanese, this is pronounced uh, cha. In Thai, cha. It's okay? In English, tea. So in Thai, cha is pronounced in English, tea. Cha is tea. Cha tea. Do you know? Yeah. So today I would like to talk about Cha tea. <laughs> about Cha tea. Cha tea is open source Ruby library for visualizing your data in a simple way. For example, Cha tea outputs these graphs. We can easily plot using Charty. Charty using Ruby, Java, Python, and JavaScript. These days, there is no de facto standard visualization tool for Ruby. On the other hand, each above language has its own good plotting library. Thus, Charty is visualiz visualizing your data by standing on the shoulders of giants. Characteristics of Chatty. Chatty has two abstraction layers. Uh, one is data abstraction layer. It abstracts data structure. Uh, the other one, plotting abstraction layer. It abstracts backend plotting, plotting libraries. Uh, I will explain about it later. This is basic usage of Chatty. I will show a demo. Okay, I show a demo. <coughs> uh, this is basic usage. First, we need data to visualize. Let's get ready. Require data sets, DARU, uh, this, this line. Uh, DARU is uh, convenience the data structure. Uh, 
this is red data set plugin to export the data set as DAL data frame object and use iris, iris data sets like, like such a uh, this data. And here is a charty part, require charty and create a charty plotter instance, plotter. And next, set the data to render this block in this block, uh, set the data, and then call render method. So render such a this image. If we want to render with other kind of chart, this line, only one line, uh, change call method to bar h from, from scatter. So scatter bar h dot render and render the, uh, bar h, bar horizon by each uh, image. And this is a multi-layer multi -layer example. It is possible. Uh, Plotter layout to layout, lay, uh, scatter and by each. This is uh, this, this, this by each. Scatter by each, uh, left shift to layout and render. Uh, it is possible. And so three times left shift uh, rendered such image. Grid layout is also possible. Grid layout, grid to do. Uh, this is such an image. Next. Focus on the code we need to write. This is output images. How code we need to write? Uh, this is PyPlot backend example. Require chart e and uh, uh, create instance and set data and render method call render with uh save save file file name this is graph backend example if we want to use another backend different is only one line one line is this this line chart e plot the new graph graph is backend uh specified backend before this, this, this example, PyPlot, this is graph, only one line. About plotting abstraction layer, uh, it is below, below, below layer. From the previous example, the difference is one line to change backend. Here is one of the features of Charlie. We can easily switch back and libraries with almost the same code. More about plotting abstraction layer. Currently supported backends is below PyPlot, Graph, RubyPlot, Google Chart, Bokeh, Plotly, Plotly.js, Chart.js, and JFree Chart. Chart now works with JRuby. How to develop backend? I feel that PyPlot has the largest number of graph types that can be output. When we want to add the graph to support, we often implement PyPlot first as a reference implementation. After that, we will implement other libraries. Other cases. For example, Google Charts, Bokeh, Plotly, these were implemented by a pull request that I'd like to use Charty if this library is supported by the backend. So, oh, okay, okay. 
if there is a real user and real world use case exists, it depends on the priority with other work, but consider support for a new backend. Next, about data abstraction layer. Uh, it's above, above abstraction layer. Charity supports these data structures. I will show a demo. Uh, DAL, NUMO, NRA, NMatrix, and Active Record. This is sample of NUMO NRA. Uh, first, require charity and create instance. Require NUMO NRA. Set data to charity table. Charity table equal NRA. Set data. And charity table columns uh, specify a symbol. It's OK. And it's also OK. Specify string. And then charity to bar and bar the drawing the so this image is rendered chat is the two box plot render render the box plot and bubble bubble chart curve scatter error oh error not error this is not error uh, histogram this is new NRA and matrix. This is an matrix sample. Uh, require chart and create instance. Uh, require n matrix and set uh, n matrix data to chart table. Uh, almost the same as uh, NRA sample. Chart table and chart dot two bar render. Box plot render, bubble render, uh, almost the same. This is active record. Uh, require chart and create instance. Uh, require active record. Active record uh, establish connection with SQLite on memory and define schema. So then create sample model. So this is create sample data, uh, 100, 100 records. And select as we often do in web application. So this name sales, sales set sales to charity table and to scatter, scatter uh, with Argument uh, specified uh, column name. Let's get the render, render such a image. To bar, box plot, bubble, uh, and so on. So, says. Charity can respond to various data structures. That's because charity table, charity table is abstracted. Feature summary of charity. Charity has two abstraction layers, data abstraction layer, protein abstraction layer. Thus, we can use the data structures we need. We can use output libraries we want to use. We can use them in any combination. We need with almost no code rewrite. Introduction of various use cases of charity recently. Uh, we introduced charity in our production environment of web application, which is our job. This web application is a common Rails application. At that time, we were asking for Chatty to output JSON, not image file. Here is an example using Proto.js. I will show a demo. Okay. 
So this is now uh, executing Rails application. So this is Protrigis, uh, Protrigis backend sample. In in this code, in this code, like that, uh, con controller Rails controller in Rails controller charity port new. Uh, create instance and uh, set data to table. And uh, this is uh, ProtoJS backend uh, the feature uh, to JSON layout. And view, view is only uh, one, one div, div tag. And JavaScript, oh. So JSON data and layout data is used uh, by JavaScript, import protrijs and the new plot uh, specified ID name, sample, and JSON data and layout data. So output such a this uh, HTML and JavaScript. Uh, this case is uh, different. Uh, do you know benchmark driver? Benchmark driver is a uh, great, great benchmark tool. <laughs> so this combination is also possible because Charity has data abstraction layer to support various data structures. For example, benchmark driver output as below by default. This is uh, Ruby CSV benchmarks uh, output default, but benchmark uh, install gem install benchmark driver output charty and benchmark driver hyphen o charty. So this image uh, output this image. Summary of data abstraction layer. Currently supports array, hash, dal, numo, and array, and matrix, active record, and benchmark driver as uh, chatty adapter. It can output image and HTML and JSON format. Now chatty is JRuby is working. So uh, this this tweet this. This tweet's impression became my motivation. So I implement. So I implement. I implemented JFree chart backend. Thanks to Charles development progress. My development is progress. Chat with JRuby. This is. Uh, this is a Uh, this is output sample. So, uh, create an instance. Jeffrey chart. Jeffrey chart specified. Jeffrey chart and bar plot, bar h, bar bo, card, scatter. Yeah, and then. Uh, this is my first JRuby gem. JRuby gem include uh, jar files. So this is gem spec in gem spec. Spec platform we call Java and uh, spec require requirements uh, Java. Specify jar and at runtime dependency jar dependencies. Uh, jar dependencies. Uh, it's it is when bundle install. So same time, this jar file is installed. So this this gem is not bundled jar file. So 
when when boundary install uh, this when boundary install uh, same time install Java Java file. So chat you please use JL Robust. Uh, if if there are JL Robust. This is not yet complete uh chat backend J for each chat. If you have important use cases, uh, so I, I can write code. I'm glad to hear everyone's thoughts. Future plan. We aim for this improvement interface. Uh, this is continued. Support Rollet Arrow for data abstraction layer because Apache Arrow is great. Really stable version and at support data, data set. So uh, like Titanic data set. So if you are interested in Chatty, feel free to talk to me. That's all. Thank you. <laughs>